Welcome everyone! Again, after a few months of uh, being, you know, not here. Um, I guess some of you probably doubted uh, whether I'm gonna be coming back at all. Uh, but uh, anyway, here I am. So let's go uh, straight away to that video and to uh, Sunrisers on that battle. Now, it was quite an um, interesting uh, map because, uh, first of all, I didn't really have anyone uh, to help me from my alliance. They were busy on other maps. Uh, I was kind of bored and then I realized that, you know, these guys, they're, you know, gathering around and, you know, building the troops. So I thought it was going to be uh, quite good fun on my own. So what I did, I've prepared the... Uh, what I prepared? I prepared my army on the different maps and I brought them all near the highways. And therefore, the, my plan was at least that I'm going to um, surprise them. Because as we all know that uh, when you have a bunch of army and you... you you, you do this one wave, you might have a second wave to hit, but generally that's it. And therefore your enemy, if he survives the second wave, they usually they're safe, right? Because you run out of troops. So in this occasion, I wanted to have many waves. And uh, so many waves actually that uh, I thought that they're gonna collapse miserably however however it it wasn't it wasn't exactly as i planned now i know many of you will say that i'm just trying to find the excuse why it actually went in a different directions that i that i planned but regardless whether you're going to take it as excuse or not i need to say this right if you are a single player on the map and you have just one base, right? Then you as a single player with one base can have just over five groups. And that's without the building extension, okay? I mean the, the group extension. So when you have 10 people, for example, that is 50 groups straight away. And for a single player to have 50 groups on a map, you need to own like around 200 bases, okay? And bear in mind, on each map you have like 350, maybe 400 bases in total. So having 10 players gives you uh, 10 uh, groups, uh, sorry, uh, 50 groups straight away. Plus we have to remember that many players has uh, multiple bases. Therefore, all in all, I was probably up against quite a few groups, okay? So let me just go quickly through the guys uh, who, at least the, the, the ones I found from the videos. Uh, so I'm gonna just do, um, shout, uh, shout at them right now. So from Sunriser, I found uh, Marco Polo, then I found FWU58, Lucas282, then BUM172, Petro04, then is WSTEN Hux, don't know how to pronounce that, then we've got Stormy, Punk2, Andreas Mon, Hokey, uh, Mackey, Mackey, Growwolf, and Doberman79. So these guys are the guys which I saw and uh, I was fighting against. Now, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 13 people and you know, they had the trains and stuff like that, so some of them, they've already had quite a few bases on them. 
So I think we can easily say that there was 60, maybe even 70 groups I was up against uh, with me having, I haven't checked that, but um, I didn't really have that much. In any case, I've got enough army. So uh, even though I didn't expect to have so many players to play at the time, uh, I was still quite confident that I can I can do uh, a good game. And it was a good game. It was a good game, although uh, with a slightly different outcome than I anticipated. Uh, anyway, so the game was uh, great and let's see how it went and uh, I will be going and trying to tell you what my plan was and what I was hoping to get. So, enjoy! Okay, here we are and yeah, this is where it all starts. So, we had this, you know, little groups of Sunraiser now, what I sort of forgot to mention um, on on my intro, that uh, the Sunriser actually came to this map, uh, and I guess they planned to take it over, uh, because we actually own most of the map. Uh, so they came and they took a few bases, I think, if I remember rightly, it was all uh, because of some of our guys they were leaving or uh, they were kicked you know whatever so there was few bases left and uh, they just used that as an opportunity to hop in and and took some bases so what's happening here and also what what you have to remember here that um, they, I mean, the, the guys from my alliance, they, they didn't really want to uh, participate in this battle. So as you can see, the Sunriser is actually pushing forward. Now, the, this point where we have that, um, that, you know, the bunch of troops, this is where we kind of stopped them. But uh, this is also the, the place where I decided to, well, to have a fun. Now, the entire battle took like three, three or four hours, okay? It was quite long. Now, I've already pre-cut this footage as much as I could, okay? As much as I could. And I ended up um, with one hour, okay? So, I will be with you for the next hour as this is uh, yeah gonna go so you can see I'm moving all my troops now at the same time I want you to know that I have uh, a lot of groups on other maps and I was basically making them ready to um, to well for the big battle so all of them I'm moving around now the movement of the troops as you can probably imagine it was taking loads of time and not only that but as I was trying to move uh, obviously enemy will uh, I mean notice that and they were uh, trying to be as unuseful as possible as you just saw okay now this is where believe it or not but that was like after an hour of moving troops around so this is where they kind of parked and they kind of ready for the for our attack because the attack is inevitable and uh, the problem was that I am here next to the highway so you can imagine um, I guess if you know you were the Sunriser you would want to keep coming up with the troops on that highway because you would be coming from my back and you can attack me from the back you can attack me from the front and also actually you could attack me from the sides as well but you know it was it was quite good the, the biggest problem is which I couldn't really 
uh, you, you know, record that, is that sometimes there was a battle happening here, but I was transferring troops from the other maps. So obviously I couldn't really record that, which was a shame. But anyway, we've got some footage here, and as you can see, they they trying to attempt uh, to take me down. Now the moles are, you know, perfect troops uh, in terms of the power as long as they shoot him from the distance. So we see the bunch of tigers coming over and, you know, most of you knows that already, that the breeders are not only good for a base attack, but they're actually very good uh, for the shield. Now the range, the shooting range is 10, which is the, the longest in the game. And uh, therefore, when you have a bunch of, of uh, uh, breeders in front of the moles, this is the, the perfect setup. Because whatever comes, you know, towards you, the breeder will start shooting, the enemy will start shooting, and therefore the moles will take them down, especially if you have quite a lot of them. Now in here, in this setup, what you can see here, they have, uh, now I think they are the T-28s. And I must admit that they, they were a pain. They were a pain for me uh, because they were shooting at my moles. And, you know, again, as you all know, the moles are actually very weak in terms of the armor. So, um, yeah, I wasn't particularly happy for that. But anyway. So, yes, we're setting everything up. Um, you see, that kind of footage I could have speed up. But uh, I thought you need to see roughly uh, what I've been going through. Just to give you a, a bit of a of the backstory of what was involved. Look at this, look at this. So they're just waiting. And at the moment, they're actually coming over from um, from the other, other maps as well. Because they were using different highways as well. The problem was for me that that they had they had lots of troops but they had probably even more constantly coming so the entire uh, fight here was really the, the 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 army which will have the troops keep coming will win i mean that was it and despite that I've got quite a few troops, I, I just didn't have enough. Okay, so you see, they gathering there. It's a second um, set of tigers. It's like a chess games, you know? And I like chess, and this is like a uh, this is like a um, a new version of the chess. I guess more fun. Yeah, you see, I want to. You see, so I'm moving one breda uh, on the top of the hill, the other breda on the bottom of the hill, in case they go, you know, both ways. But they, they, they know what's coming, and they know they can't really fight because they're gonna get destroyed very quickly. So it was a good move to retreat. OK, 
Okay. We all we all set. You see what I mean in, in if I was the sunriser at that moment and if I knew that I have so many uh, players at the time I would say to the player to to you know get five or six to move the troops straight away through that highway at the same sort of time and then to move these troops at the same time to that and that, that would be that would be a very quick uh, a very quick uh, wipeout but yes there is many many ways to have fun look how close they come in you see the the wheelies are are nice but the range is very low so you, you can see you come in closer and closer and closer now you can see the breeders there just in front of the t28s now they move in T28s. Now they know they can move T28s because the the um, uh, wellies cannot reach that. Now uh, you see the T28s now shooting at my um, moles. Beautiful. And that's these tigers. So you see, I had to move. You see, what they should have done with the tigers, they should go past my bredas. So do the, like, a, like a wider loop, and then they could actually achieve something. Yeah, that's interesting. I keep shooting, but they, they're not really moving. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, they've got lots of nationals. Nationals are not really good because they come in like group of seven, if I remember rightly. And they are very powerful. Now, this is the act of desperation a little bit, I must admit. Okay. Unit is on the way to the other map. Yeah, 
Yes, they pay us a visit there. So you see, what I also... Uh, the, the advantage what I had uh, also at that time that I had... I had the resources on that map as well, so I could produce and, you know, fast produce uh, the troops if I had to. Uh, and I, you know, and I did. Um, on the way to the other map. So that was the reason I managed to actually stay a bit longer. Yeah, they had plenty of willies. Plenty of willies. You see what they're doing now? So they're doing the same thing, except they don't have moles. But the wheelies can go around them and just shoot at... Yeah. nice I have to say in those situations your hand on the mouth is sweating sweating shaking but I like it oh yes I like it Now what you don't see, because I had to cut it out, but I've also had to transfer lots of resources as well, uh, just so I can move uh, move troops around. Okay, the unit is on the way to the other map. <clears throat> Yes, and we're moving again. Also, um, if I can the unit is on the way give the you a map. tip, every so often always check the highways because this is what you can end up with. So they've already blocked the highways. And here we go, we got the helicopters, we got the planes. So it was good fun. It was good fun, but um, but yes, it's a, it's a shame that I couldn't hold it. The unit is on the way to the other map. Now these planes are great when 
they are in group you can see how quickly they can you know they can work they trying to sneak in Look how quickly they go in. <laughs> Woo. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. No, we're just checking checking the rubbish to be cleaned. Now you need to always watch what's happening around you, especially when you got a you know bunch of skinks there. Skinks are not really not really good for planes. Now, when you have a situation like this one, right? So there's a lots of troops um, which can shoot the, the planes. But when you want to attack them, the number one, what you need to aim for are the skinks. Yeah, because they're going to do the most of the damage. So get, all, get, get rid of the skinks. Plus, the skinks are actually quite weak. So get, get rid of the skinks. Go for the next, I would say, go for moles. Um, yeah, and then the rest. Oops. Yeah, the skinks are actually the one which you have to be careful of. But uh, yeah, let's get rid of those. <coughs> yeah, they've made a mistake that they removed the skinks from here. Because these planes can clean up all of this. All of this. And always aim at one group using all of your troops because then they're gonna go very quickly and then move to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. Look how beautiful that is. Now they are coming, but they should have moved. They, yeah, they shouldn't move. And you just don't be afraid you just have to go at them yeah just go at them yeah I should go at them though. come on oh yes I couldn't see the skinks here Look at that. 
they're all gone. They're all gone. I don't understand why they didn't keep the the skinks there. That's a big big mistake. A loads a loads of troops. Oh, okay, now they're coming. Okay. Yeah, there are two groups. So th this is very dangerous because I don't really have that much. Uh, I don't have that much, so you have to be careful. You see, at that time, I, I actually, uh, I've actually should have made more planes, just top it up. And to be honest, with just these planes, I probably, I would probably uh, get rid of uh, those troops. But yes, I've chosen otherwise, unfortunately. Yes, and now just clean this up before the skinks arrive. Beautiful. see two sets of skinks one two probably three even three sets of skinks now even though we can clearly see that um, there was a time towards the end where I uh, completely forget about it and that unfortunately costed me costed me my disaster unfortunately they're not coming that far they want to have a protection from the other sets of uh, skinks but this is how you should play with skinks you should have like two or three groups and they should stay together or at least within the distance where where they've got backup from each other there's no plane in this game or sets of planes which can overcome two cells three sets of skinks they're just gonna destroy everything
Okay. Notice that I was trying to to move from that map so I can bring other troops but yeah I can't do it unfortunately I can't do it Okay, they're coming. I can't remember if I managed to get away from it. On the way to the other map. Yeah, they stopped. Okay. But the where are the skins? On the way to the other map. Okay, they come in they come in back there. The unit is on the way to the other map. Okay. Yeah, they must have the a spy plane here. Way to the other map. So that's about it. Well, we got Spitfires coming. A little too late. Now we try in with the helicopters. That's a lot. Although the skins for helicopters are not really that great.
Yeah, so there's a lot of them coming. Now I couldn't make I couldn't make my mind which planes will be the best for this action. Now it's just a uh, fast forward now, the production. It cost me lots of gold, loads of gold. But it was fine. Uh, it was fun and it was worth it. It was worth it. Beautiful. I just love this. I just love this. First moles, remember, because they're more powerful. Now that was like two hours, two and a half hours already in. Now the group which is coming now, ah, you see, that was quite clever. I don't know whether that was uh, on purpose or coincident but it was quite good they moved a bunch of troops on one side to scare me off and then they had this uh, skinks on the other side so that was quite clever now they have to run with that troops because uh, they will not stand the chance And you, you cannot be scared, right? If you are basically in the shit, just go for it, because otherwise you're gonna lose more. Yeah. 
Ici. Da ist eine Nabe Bunch drin, so. Ups. So yes, I was slowly running out. We still have troops, right? I still have troops. Now that was fast forward, so you can see I've already moved loads of moles and stuff, but That's nice. So that already looks quite optimistic uh, because it seems like they don't have much left. But th this is like, a, you know, like the, the cage fighting. When it, I mean, if you watch the cage fighting, those two strong guys and they, you know, all nice and shiny, you know, at the beginning and then towards the end, they look like a drunken man, uh, you know, barely standing and hoping that the other one will quit. And this is what we got in here. So you see, so far, it looks quite good, yeah, it looks quite good. But remember, they've got like 13 players, the one which we've counted. And, and I believe those players, they've got their own troops on other maps. So, you know, this is going to be a very difficult to win. Very difficult indeed. <laughs> and you see the problem is that I've only got moles and although they've got a big power but they are very vulnerable now
So you see, at that point, I was actually convinced that I, I pretty much won the battle. Um, but yeah, but I was a little bit mistaken. Yeah, that that's uh, yeah, that's a problem. You see, from three sides, three sides. Oh well. Oh well, that's all I can say. That is a lot. That is a lot. It was a good game, good game. Uh, I think I've done uh, just one more, one more bunch of planes. Yeah, these ones. And to be honest, I thought that with those, because they've got the great armor, I thought that we're gonna actually achieve something. But I have to say that that was uh, that was disaster. That was disaster because I I really didn't didn't achieve half of what I was expected to do. So 
So yes, and this is my last attack. That was my last attack. And the skinks, I didn't realize that they still have a skinks there. Yeah, so two left and this is it. That was the end, my friends, that was the end. And um, and unfortunately, after that battle, I kind of stopped playing. And, uh, you know, every now and then I popped in and um, I saw that the, the map is getting smaller and smaller and uh, at the moment there is no one there on that map or well, probably sunriser but uh, we are not there now for for those who actually lasted that long um what i did i've i've condensed the little map and i um zoom zoomed in on it and fast forward this okay so you can see that 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 clip is gonna take probably like three minutes around two and a half three minutes and you've got the entire battle uh, fast forward on the map so you can see how often the map was changed and uh, and so on so you know it might be interesting might not be but uh, yes yeah, so anyway um, yeah, haven't been saying that for eight months or nine months, but subscribe uh, if you can. Um, in fact, uh, since I left, I gained like almost 300 subscribers, 200 something subscribers, which is great um, without doing anything. Um, so yes, subscribe if you can. And then uh, I also wanted to tell you that uh, I'm going to be putting some uh, footage from uh, GTA Online. I've uh, kind of like playing this uh, and also I've asked you to let me know which game uh, should I play also and the GTA was the uh, had the highest score so I decided to try it. So I hope you're gonna like that one as well. Um, but yes, uh, this is the last plane on this map and is going to be gone soon. So anyway, enjoy this little clip at the end and um, I will be going. Thank you for watching. Uh, 
I know it's a bit longer than I, uh, well, than I should have, but I thought it's gonna be better this way rather than splitting this video for a few parts, so. Yeah, and that's me gone. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully not in eight months, but a bit shorter.